Hey guys, welcome to my guide on the Punisher. I've wanted to make a video on this ship for a while and what kind of um, inspired me to fly this over the past week is, is that recently Gorski Carr just got back into the CSM and one of his first suggestions to CCP was to rework the Punisher. Um, I think most people who really have any kind of PvP experience would agree with Gorski that the Punisher is terrible. I think it's probably the worst ship in the game, at least of any ship which is actually intended for combat. And it's pretty much been this way for as long as I've played EVE. Um, so I definitely think it's time for a change and I'm, I'm sure it might take a while but CCP will eventually, I think, rework this ship. So a lot of the problems um, that the Punisher has I think stem from the fact that it only has two mid slots. Um, the biggest drawback there is that it means it cannot fit a web. Uh, that in itself is actually not that much of a problem because a lot of other Amar frigates only have two mid slots. The ship which is most similar to the Punisher is probably the Crusader, um, which is the Amar Combat Interceptor, and I think it's a very, very good ship. Um, the differences are that the Crusader has five effective turrets, which is a lot for a frigate, whereas the Punisher only has 3.75, which is kind of low to average for a T1 frigate. Uh, on top of that, the Crusader has a tracking bonus, uh, and the Punisher does not, and the Crusader has much, much better speed than the Punisher does. The Punisher also does not have an optimal range bonus, like a Slicer or a Retribution do, so um, what that means is that with Pulse Lasers, it's basically forced to fight within Scram and Web range, and it has to do this without a web of its own, and it has to do this with pretty low tracking guns and without a tracking bonus on the hull, so I hope you can see that problem there. <laughs> and um, without a web, also your ability to control the fight against most ships is basically zero. Um, you're pretty much at the mercy of your opponent in terms of range control. And, and very often, even if you're winning, like if your opponent has both a scram and a web, then they'll be able to just pull range away from you and, and disengage and warp off whenever they want. And um, that's especially true in the low sec frigate pvp meta where most people tend to fit an afterburner a scram and a web um the punisher is also particularly bad because it does not get a capacitor bonus to its guns um so that means that its cap is awful so i have basically maximum cap skills on this character and i very often have seen myself having cap issues in this ship um just to drive this point home, the, the Executioner, the Tormentor, the Retribution, the Coercer, and the Crusader, every single one of those ships gets a cap bonus to lasers, but the Punisher does not. So basically, I guess, just imagine, if you want to get a picture for what a Punisher is like, imagine a Tormentor, take away one of its mid slots and a whole bunch of its CPU, and then take away its drone bay and its cap bonus, and then you're left, you're basically just left with the Punisher then. Um, the Punisher does get a utility high slot, which I think is pretty worthless. Um, it doesn't have the cap to use a newt, and a NOS basically doesn't come anywhere close to solving the cap problems that it has, just in my experience. Um, and the, the other thing the Punisher has is an armor resist bonus, but I don't think that bonus comes anywhere close to making up for all of its shortcomings. So with that said, um, it's not a completely worthless ship. It's better than a noob ship, and you can still kill things with the Punisher. Um, but the only fit I think is at all worth using is an MWD uh, Pulse Laser Brawling fit, like the one I have here. Um, although it's definitely not the fastest ship out there, it's still very much capable of slingshotting most kiting ships, like Tristan's and Condor's. So basically those were the ideal targets I had in mind when I started roaming in this ship. Um, I think a typical like low sec style afterburner pulse laser fit is is useless because um, without a web you can't really count on your AB alone to help you control range against other afterburner fit ships and without a micro warp drive you basically just lose to kiting ships like you have no possible way of winning those fights. Um, I also think that without a cap bonus and without a tracking bonus that beam lasers just aren't going to work either. Um, so I think this fit is basically what you're stuck with. <laughs> so if you ever see someone who's um, belt ratting or doing PVE or something like that, um, as long as it's something reasonable, like I would suggest just trying to fight them, like even if it's in a ship that you don't think you would be normally in a regular PvP 
uh, engagement. Um, because very often that means that if they're belt riding, their ship may not be fit optimally for PvP, and um, they might just not be mentally prepared or not paying attention, and just might not react fast enough to you, which would give you a pretty big advantage in the fight. Um, so I found this comet belt riding, and I just went for it, and um, he was a blaster comet, so I was more or less at the start of the fight just trying to um, stay at scorch range and kill him. I did get a bit closer to, to him later to to make sure he didn't get away, so I just switched crystals there at the end. So a similar story with this thrasher I found who was ratting. Um, I actually, the rats mostly killed him in this particular instance. Um, and it did turn out this thrasher was a, a shield fit, which is actually perfectly fine for, for a Punisher to engage because a, th a Shield Thrasher also doesn't have a web. Um, but still you just want to fight them at Scorch range and either be deep in their falloff if they're using Faction or or you want to force them to switch to Barrage so that they're doing much less damage. It's always good to engage people who are belt riding too just because it could escalate the fight and force them to bring in other things like interceptors or frigates to fight you. So a fight against the Kiting Tristan is actually uh, a matchup that the Punisher, this Punisher at least, is legitimately strong in. Um, in this case you just really need to slingshot him, get within multi-frequency range and just uh, brawl him down. So I've started off by just burning directly away from him to try to pull range, and I was watching my angular velocity on my overview there, and when that dropped, I just hit approach. And that's basically just how you slingshot. Um, keep your scram overheated and spam it as you get closer to him, and once you have tackle, that's pretty much it. Um, you do far more damage than the Tristan at brawling range, so and they don't tank very well, so it's a pretty easy win. The Punisher has such a reputation for being so bad that uh, if you sit in a plex in a busy system in a Punisher, pretty much you'll get a fight within a couple of minutes. Um, so this Tristan came in, and he's another kiting Tristan, and he just came right for me, so I just didn't mess around. I just approached him and uh, caught him very quickly. And again, against any kiting ship, once you, once you catch him, the, the fight's pretty much over. So here's a fight against another Comet. Um, I saw that he was blaster fit, so um, I'm basically moving away from him um, right now because he's faster than me, so I know he's going to catch me eventually. But when that does happen, I want the fight to start um, within Scorch range so that he has to spend as much time as possible burning in to me in order to apply damage with his blasters. Um, so I had my scram overheated, and as soon as he got within heated scram range, um, I, I plied it. And I'm just trying to stay as far away from him for as long as possible. But fortunately, it turned out he didn't have a web. He was actually a weird shield fit, so um, I was actually able to control range just fine. That's the problem with the shield comet. <laughs> Uh, I suggest either fitting a web or trying to use a dual prop fit if you're going to use a micro warp drive brawling comet. So pretty much any blaster ship you just want to fight the same way. You just want to fight them at scorch range because that's really the one advantage you have is the protection of, of scorch versus blasters. Um, so that's what I did here against this Tyrannus. I just tried to keep range at um, seven and a half kilometers, and this is a fight that he probably should have won. But his biggest mistake was that he fit a warp disruptor and not a warp scrambler, so I was able to keep my micro warp drive on in control range. 
Um, so because he's not able to hit me even with null ammo at this range, it's it's a fairly straightforward fight. And a Merlin came in after him, and uh, the Merlin's another blaster ship. Um, so the approach is basically the same. I'm trying to get closer to him and set up the engagement in such a way that um, that when we finally land scrams on each other, it'll be at a range which is at as close to the edge of scram range as possible. So that uh, in order for him to apply any damage to me, he's going to have to um, burn into his optimal range for his blasters, whereas I'm going to be able to hit him the entire time with Scorch. And a Merlin fits a scram in a web, like pretty much always, so I'm not going to be able to control range, but I need to get as much of an advantage early on in the fight as possible in order to have a reasonable chance of winning. So I do that here, and I try to set up the fight so that um, it starts at 8 kilometers or so, which I'm, I'm able to do here. So he's getting closer and closer to me, but it takes a reasonable amount of time for him to do that and that entire time I'm just hitting him with Scorch so it's actually a perfectly good fight for a Punisher to take um, but you have to make sure that the fight starts at a range which favors you So the Punisher is definitely flawed in a lot of ways, and um, as it stands right now, it's basically inferior to the Executioner and the Tormentor in almost every way. Uh, also, all the Amar T1 frigates are laser ships, which I find to be pretty boring. Um, it would be logical, and it's been suggested by several others, that um, what CCP should do is to add a mid-slot to the Punisher and turn it into a missile ship. Um, what this would do is it would give the Amar frigate line a lot more variety than it currently has and it would make it into the Punisher into a nice stepping stone into ships like a Malediction or a Vengeance. Um, as it currently stands, the Punisher is the worst frigate in the game and I don't recommend flying it ever. Um, although I was able to get some kills with it, most of them were against people with suboptimal fits or people who were belt riding, um, who I probably could have killed in you know, pretty much any other frigate. So thanks for watching.